Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm Teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Okay, now let's start discussing our lesson. All right, we're now on our lesson number two. Okay, and for lesson number two, we're going to learn about this topic. Let's read starting the class. Okay, starting the class. All right. If you can still remember, our first lesson from the previous video was the first class. Now we're going to continue that and let's try to see what we're going to learn on here on this part which is starting the class, okay? Now let's try to see the dialogues here. Uh, before the dialogues, let's go to the teacher's language first. So you can see here teacher's language. Let's read good morning or afternoon class. Okay, if the class is in the morning, of course the teacher will say good morning class. But if the class starts in the afternoon, the teacher will say good afternoon class. Okay, that's how the teacher uh, will say it first. Now, next one we have here. How is everyone today? How is everyone today? Okay, so this time let's go to student's language. And the students can reply or can say, fine, thank you. So this is what the students can say after the teacher asks them, how is everyone today? Okay, now let's try to see the dialogues here below so we can understand it better. Dialogue. Remember, T is for teacher, SS is for the students. Teacher, good morning, class, good afternoon, class. And the students may say good morning or good afternoon. Next uh, dialogue, teacher, how is everyone today? How is everyone today? The students can reply or can say, fine, thank you. Teacher, it's a nice day, isn't it? The, the students may say, yes. Okay, so that's it for our dialogue. Now, let's go to other expressions on this part now, okay? So, number one, we can see here, good morning. Or good afternoon class the teacher can also say good morning everybody or good afternoon everybody or the teacher can also say hi everybody or hello everyone okay so you can see there now on number two how is everyone today the teacher can also say, how are you today? Or, how are you this morning? How are you this afternoon? Okay, those are some things that the teacher can say, aside from, how is everyone today? Next one here, how is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing this morning? How is everyone doing this afternoon? Okay, so this sentences or questions just has the same meaning as this one. So the teacher can say this or this one uh, or this one. Okay, like just like number one. All right, now you can see here below the dialogue in their Korean translation. So the dialogue that we've just read from the previous page. Alright, so that's it for lesson number two. 
Now let's go to lesson number three this time. So lesson number three is checking attendance. Checking attendance. Okay, now let's go to teacher's language. For example, the teacher may say, Mira's not here. Does anyone know why she's absent? Let's start the class. Okay, so let's go here below on the dialogue part so we may understand what that means. Okay, you will see here the activity that the teacher is checking attendance. Okay, let's read the dialogue. Teacher, oh, Mira's not here. Mira here is a name of a girl, okay? Does anyone know why she's absent? So the teacher is asking a question why the girl Mira is absent. The students, no. The teacher, okay, well, let's start the class. Other expressions we may see here. Number one, Mira's not here. Or the teacher can also say Mira is absent today. I don't see Mira. All right, so next one, number two, does anyone know why she is absent? Or the teacher could also say, I wonder why she didn't come to school today. Number three, let's start the class. Or let's begin the class. Or let's get started. Another one here is, shall we start? Now you can see here on this box the dialogue that we've just read. And here below, checking attendance aloud. The teacher may say, Kim Mira? Where is Kim Mira? The student can answer here or yes or present. Okay? So that's it for our lessons number two and number three. Again, I'm Teacher Emmy. Thank you for listening and see you in our next video lesson. Goodbye.